Hi there, my name is Lars Sorensen and you're watching this little video we created for you over at the Computing Conference 2019 in London, speaking to delegates, paper writers and professors, just sharing a hint of their work. Uh, obviously, all the publications are also available uh, through our partner Springer. You can uh, dive into it as soon as we've grabbed your interest. And uh, I'm pretty sure this could really grab your interest. I'm going to talk to uh, Associate uh, Professor at uh, uh, Vos Laurent University, uh, Mr. Uh, Balint Molnar. And uh, we're going to talk about the importance of recognizing handwriting, uh, handwriting. And you could just think about how important this is if we look at it uh, in uh, a court perspective to find out if two pieces of handwriting are made by one person and uh, professor could you uh, uh, elaborate a little bit on us on why it is um, so important to do this in a more mathematical approach than was done years before yeah uh, there are traditional methodologies written in books uh, and taught as well all, but uh, this kind of traditional methodologies based on the expert opinion, subjectivity. And uh, it would be a very nice thing to provide a more objective approach for that evaluation of handwriting differences or identity. And uh, for that solution we propose an expert system uh, which may include uh, the knowledge, the knowledge of the experts, and uh, several rules which are written down in the methodologies. Uh, originally in Hungary, for example, the so-called Soviet methods are used uh, for traditional historical reason. On uh, the method was uh, uh, was worked out within Russia. Soviet Union, and uh, this was incorporated into the Hungarian court procedure and criminal procedure. Uh, but uh, uh, there are several old experts with subjective, but very, <laughs> very profound and uh, so, so hard to discuss with them. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to discuss with an expert with a lot of experience. Right. In. Yeah, yeah, and and some that you can you can imagine that the expert's opinion may differ mm -hmm. on some critical questions as well. uh, and uh, uh, we think that uh, using some computational methods and uh, exploiting the available algorithm uh, we may provide more objectivity on this field. Mm -hmm. And uh, just could you explain and obviously we only have a short time and you have you've written this very elaborate uh, paper on the specifics uh, but just to give us a hint about the approach that you use to do this, because handwriting is is so uh, is such variated, uh, even from uh, one person. If the pen is different or the paper is different, so how to come to these objective measurements? Yeah, uh, one of the uh, first points is that we try to digitize it, and it's very interesting that the digitization um, provide very interesting features. For example, uh, we can spot uh, the pen pressure as well, uh, uh, spotting the pixels on the digitized handwriting. Uh, anyway, uh, there are a set of features uh, used by these experts. Uh, these kind of set, uh, features should be somehow formalized. Uh, uh, this is one of the approach of this expert system or uh, method, uh, system which we want to create. Uh, one of the things that these features can be mapped onto strings, uh, computational strings. Uh, there are a, a very well worked out elaborated uh, methods on DNA sequencing. The similar uh, methods could be used on that field if we transform the handwriting into strings. And the other uh, method which we, we may combine to that uh, string uh, comparison, the fuzzy models that uh, each feature uh, has a degree or measurement or metric uh, but typically linguistically characterized. For example, uh, it is a weak property or 
This is a quick handwriting or mm -hmm. slow handwriting. And this kind of uh, linguistic properties could be mapped into a fuzzy model. And these two approach it, uh, we try to combine within the expert system. And then, just uh, as uh, is my thought, how uh, will uh, experts or have experts reacted to this? As obviously you're not trying to offend them by saying their work isn't good, but are they open to collaborating with these kinds of systems? It, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, my colleague, lady colleague, uh, uh, she, is, uh, she, she works on that field. She is uh, really a handwriting expert and work, uh, works for a court. And uh, she has experienced that uh, several experts are enthusiastic about this, that it would provide some helping hand for them. And it's very interesting, not all of them, and <laughs> it's not a statistical sample, but several of them um, uh, showed interest for that. Uh, system. Then obviously you are with us here to uh, uh, do the presentation about your paper. Yeah. Are you also looking forward to maybe some other presentations? So what's for you the, the extra uh, value of coming to uh, a conference like Computing Conference 2019? Uh, I think that uh, oh, a little bit, uh, but a little different field. That, uh, for example, uh, uh, I was on a session on healthcare, uh, on the machine learning, uh, application, uh, it is interesting. Uh, uh, one of the interesting aspects of this conference is that there are lots of applica uh, applications and uh, it's worth studying that uh, which field and which kind of uh, computational approach are applied on, on different um, uh, application fields. Professor Molnar, I want to thank you so much for collaborating with us to putting all of your work in this short video we've created for you. Are you hungry for more? And I can just imagine you are. Don't forget to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel so we can bring you up uh, all the updates that we're creating uh, for you right here. Uh, and also maybe consider joining us for one of our other conferences. We have them throughout the year on different locations. Uh, perhaps we can meet you there in person and talk to you as well. Thank you for watching. Okay, thank you.